A man now faces charges and a murder that happened in broad daylight outside a local Walmart. 26-year-old Josiah Hassel is wanted for shooting and killing Jamonte Brown in November. Our Genesis Snarrows joining us now live from Westwood where this all happened. But first, we want to warn you that some of the images you're about to see are disturbing. Jenna, good evening. Kyle, good evening to you. And just like you see this Walmart now, it is busy with shoppers everywhere. Newly released video shows the moments Jamonte Brown was standing right at the front of the store and on a day much like today where he was then later shot in the back of his head. In the middle of the day and in a crowded Walmart parking lot, you'd never imagine a shooting to happen right before your eyes. And it's just insanely senseless that somebody would do something like this. Surveillance video shows Jamonte Brown waiting for a ride when Josiah Hassel's car pulls up. Hassel walks up behind Brown, points a gun, and shoots him right in the back of the head. Brown falls to the ground and Hassel speeds off. There was a squabble over a small sum of money. And, um, and that's what this was about. 26-year-old Josiah Hassel is facing aggravated murder, murder, and felonious assault charges. He's incredibly dangerous. Anybody willing to do something like that um, should never be on our streets. Right now, police don't know where he is. We have the right guy. We just got to find him. Westwood community leaders say neighbors are still on edge from this incident. They're still concerned, like I've heard from neighbors, to go back to that Walmart, um, they see it as a place where there's a possibility that they could still be in the line of fire. While Hassel's record only shows a DUI from years ago, Dieter's questions just how many offenses he's committed. Think about how brazen this is to go and shoot somebody in the back of the head at a Walmart in a crowded parking lot. The mentality of that. It's really hard to believe that this was his first violent offense. Now, if convicted on all charges, Hassel faces life in prison. Dieter says he's likely not in the area, but he believes someone here may know where he is. So if you do know where Hassel is, you are asked to contact police. For now, reporting live in Westwood, Jenna Cisneros, Local 12 News. All right, Jenna Cisneros leading us off tonight. Jenna, thank you so much. And there is no indication the other people in that surveillance video were actually involved here. The prosecutor also shared concerns that once Hassel is caught, his bond won't be high because of a recent Supreme Court decision that says public safety can't be a factor when setting bond.